Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hey, Dallas. Thanks so much. I'm wrapping up my day, but I had to wrap up my day with someone fantastic, someone awesome, someone who's above a lot of us, and he's a Medal of Honor winner. I have Ty Carter. He's a Medal of Honor recipient, and I feel so honored to have him talk to you and talk to me. Ty Carter, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Hello. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here. It's our honor and our pleasure. First, I want to start off with thanks for serving our country. I come from a military family, so I think I have a little bit of insight what it takes to be a part of serving this great nation. So thank you so very much. You're welcome. Families serve as well. I mean, they're the ones waiting, waiting at home on a phone call from their loved one. That is so very true. Ty, on Netflix, tell us about the docuseries. The docu-series is eight parts. It, it goes into extreme detail about the, uh, the heroism of not only the Medal of Honor recipients' actions, but also um, who they are as an individual. Uh, they interview family members, they, they interview uh, generals, they interview um, uh, uh, professionals, historians, and it basically puts into context of you know, this person is not superhuman. This person is not, you know, doesn't have any powers or anything. They're not from the comic books. They, they're they actual, you know, real people that were put in extraordinary situations and perform magnificently. As a Medal of Honor recipient, what does that say about your life? That says that uh, <laughs> I, have a, I have a knack for being in very unfortunate situations, but luckily... Um, I followed my training, I did my job, and uh, it, it helped out uh, sell several of my brothers. And, uh, and I got recognized, and a lot of uh, individuals that were at that firefight, uh, they got recognized, not, not as much as the Medal of Honor, except for, of course, Clint Romache. Um, but, yeah, it's just uh, that unit on that day, October 3rd, 2009, uh, our unit became the most decorated unit in the Army. So it was a bad day. Well, I've heard it been referred to as the worst day of a person's life from the recipients because it was such an extraordinary act that was seen to be so ordinary for the people that received the medal. It's, uh, the reason why a lot of recipients refer to it as the worst day of their life is because when you're in the military, your unit becomes your family. They, they're, they're your brothers and your sisters. and. The only times that uh, medals are actually nominated are when everything goes wrong. So on that day, it is your worst days because you had to watch your brothers and your sisters uh, suffer or die right in front of you. And you did everything you could to protect them or save them. And some of them just didn't make it. So if you want to think about physical pain, that's one thing. If you get shot or, or if you get burned, you know, that you can handle that. But if you see a loved one, maybe a child or, or a parent or a brother or sister, and they're suffering and you feel helpless, you can't, uh, that type of pain is all in your head and in your heart. And that lasts forever. So yes, it, it was definitely one of the worst days of my life. I want my audience to know that Medal of Honor winners, it's bestowed upon fewer than 3,600 Americans, and it was enacted into law in 1861 by President Abraham Lincoln. So a lot of people have not received this honor. Ty Carter, with this coming to Netflix, what do you want us to know? You participated in this. What do you want us to know? Do you want to install a sense of patriotism in us or up our patriotism? It's not, it's not about that. Um... Americans, the United States of America, we're, we're all patriots in our own way. Freedom of speech, you know, uh, the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, we all have it in us. The Medal of Honor uh, series 
is there to educate, motivate, and of course entertain. So people they want to watch it. They 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 want to they want to participate. But in the end, the the series takes um, normal normal men, normal women possibly, and puts them in an extraordinary situations, and then they perform above and beyond the call of duty. The ability to earn the medal is in all of us. It's just some of us are given this misfortune of proving it. And your Medal of Honor recipients that you have now, they are normal people that have been given the misfortune to prove that uh, it's in them to do everything they can to protect and save their family. It's called Medal of Honor on Netflix. I want to thank you so much for talking about this, especially after we're coming off of Armistice Day and Veterans Day. This is such a timely release for us to be able to find out about this. Thank you very much, and continue being in good health and all the things that you do. All right. Thank you. You too.